This little husky dog is extremely weak, shaggy, it likes to be naughty and destructive. Half a month ago it was still barely breathing, fortunately the kind owner picked it up, but after getting well, it seemed to be revived, with too much energy. Not only running around, but also biting things around, disobeying the owner, its owner, boss, couldn't bear to give it to a friend. But after being quiet for two days, they brought it back. Boss's friend said this is not a dog but a madman. Boss there is no way to lock it up and put rocks around the dog house to prevent it from running around. Sure enough, the dog started to dig a hole, and the dogs next to him followed suit. The first time it didn't work, it started digging a second hole. The other dogs all gave up one by one, but he continued. Finally, after digging to the seventh hole, it successfully climbed out. Every time he escaped from prison, he went to the boss. He sometimes had the quality of a leader dog could always lead other dogs, so the sled dog team obeyed him. Suddenly, a herd of deer appeared nearby, which made him excited. It didn't think anything, immediately rushed over. Then all the dogs ran after him, but the boss's orders didn't work. The dog just ran like crazy forward. It was too short to be seen by the grass. It ran all the way to the river. Boss in the back, seeing that ordered to turn left, the dogs saw that the front was not good, immediately turned to. A strong slip, both people and cars fell into the river. The boss got angry and locked the dog in a dark room. At first it was scared, but after calming down, it began to sit and look around, discovering that there was a gap in the air vent. So it immediately planned to flee. First go into the closet, then go through the storage blank, go up each floor, follow the house and climb up to the roof. Finally, use the tip to push the vent pipe out, and then put the head through the hole out. Its cute appearance makes the boss's wife laugh happily. Finally, it jumped down lightly and continued running along to find the boss. After many times it refused to be locked up, the boss was strong, ignoring his wife's objections, took him to a place far a away or immediately locked the dog. Although this house looks better, the dog only wants to return. It was afraid to run around in the house, suddenly it sat quietly, looked towards the window and took a few steps back. Then, running fast, break. Boss was on the mountain suddenly heard a familiar barking dog, Boss looked up. Sure enough, that dog, Boss couldn't understand why it always found him. Seeing that the dog had been scratched by the glass, he softened his heart and decided to take it home. He let it sit on the sled, but it jumped down and ran to the top. Boss said, you are not qualified to be a leader yet. Boss brought it down to the end of the pack, the dog next to him was annoyed. It ignores licking the other dog's face so that the dog doesn't know what to do with it. Boss discovered that this dog had amazing speed and endurance, clearly surpassing the dog in the same row, so he put it in the front row. Very fast, it ran faster than the dog in the same row. When they got home, the dog had become the leader of the group, and Boss's wife laughed happily. The dog finally shows off its superhuman powers. Although it was once despised, but it used its strength to prove itself, the boss named the dog Togo. From then on, Togo became boss. A year later, they entered the Alaska sled competition and won the championship. Togo instantly became the sharpest sled dog. But Boss didn't know that one of his decisions nearly cost Togo his life. In the town, there was a sudden outbreak of diphtheria, more than a dozen children were infected. This disease has a very high mortality rate. In a short time, five children have died. But the serum for treatment is in a city 400 miles away. Winter is coming, the town is hit by a snowstorm that only appears once every hundred years. The plane can't get here, Boss takes on a dangerous mission. This is a race against death. At this time Togo was 12 years old. Boss's wife advised him not to bring Togo. It's old. But Boss said without Togo he couldn't have done this. Early the next morning, the boss went to his wife to say goodbye. The wife went to Togo's side, looked him in the eye and said, You must bring him back to me. You must also return to me. So the boss and Togo set off carrying everyone's hope. All the people in the town went out. They both admired and worried, leaving the town. Togo led the dogs to run through the cold snow and ice, the snowy mountain ahead was completely surrounded by the storm. In the dance of the blizzard Togo fearlessly leads the pack of dogs forward. They struggled to cross a high mountain. After reaching the top of the mountain, then there is a long and long slope. The snowstorm is getting more and more intense. Snow covered Boss's eyes, he could no longer see clearly ahead. They rushed down the slope, Togo felt unwell, in front of him was indeed a deep precipice. It immediately braked, barking loudly. Boss received a warning signal. Tossed the rake into the snow to hold the car, but the speed was too fast to stop the car. Boss jumps out of the sled, using an ice axe to hold the sled. But the inertia was too strong, he was dragged along with the car. The car is sliding down faster and faster. In the moment of danger, Boss successfully put down the ice axe. The sled stopped, only one step more to the deep cliff. Boss shouted. Togo quickly ran up. Now all the dogs were scared, lying motionless. Togo crept backwards. After a few steps, it immediately changed direction and ran up with all its might. 
He tried again and again, his claws scratched sparks. Finally, with Togo's effort, he dragged the whole group of dogs up. Boss looked at its claws, endlessly pitied. After escaping the danger, Boss decided to go through the ice on the Bering Sea, thus saving half the time. This area the old people call the Sea of Sounds, because they always hear the sound of ice cracking around. The sled flew past, causing the brittle ice to crack continuously, the dogs were extremely scared, but couldn't turn around anymore, the boss kept calling each dog's name to give them strength. The mayor announced to the radio about boss's brave act, the news that had just been released to the whole country was of interest. Everyone was shocked by this miracle. Everyone is watching every minute of every second for the safety of these sled dogs. In order to relieve the pressure on the boss, the mayor sent 20 slaves to assist the boss in completing the mission of transporting the serum, but they did not expect that the boss had the courage to cross the terrifying Bering Sea. His speed has exceeded everyone's expectations, if he fails to meet the reinforcements, it will take time for the boss and his team of sled dogs to be in danger. At this time in the blizzard, boss did not sleep for a day and a night, he was tired and lacked sleep, about to collapse. It was entirely thanks to Togo Kian Kuang who led the team to rush forward, when the rescue team was repairing the car, the boss just passed behind them, the people in the rescue team turned to see, immediately ran after shouting, the serum is here, no serum is here, boss. But the sound quickly disappeared in a snowy mist, luckily Togo heard, boss immediately turned the car around, they went to the nearest place to deliver the serum, and finally got a night's sleep. Early the next morning, Boss continued to set out, there was not much time left, he decided to cross the Bering Sea again, but the ice surface has cracked very clearly, now going through will be extremely dangerous. Boss thought for a while, he ordered the whole group of dogs to go down the most dangerous path ever, they defy death to rush forward, under their feet is the ice surface that can break out at any time, just a little carelessness they will fall into the sea. Very quickly, the ice surface was made by the seawater, and the waves rolled up from the ice surface. The path was both slippery and slanted, and the dogs were almost unable to stand. Togo tried to run forward, the boss turned his head to look back. The ice they had just crossed was sunk into the sea. Boss shouted run fast, kids. Togo led the convoy forward at full speed, the cracks in the ice were getting bigger and bigger, facing the moment of life and death. Boss could only put his trust in Togo. As a result, the Togo was the leader of the pack, leaping forward, fearless. At last they reached the other shore, but the ice was 10 meters from the shore, a man and 10 dogs had to make it across. When he turned around to fix the sled with iron nails, tied Togo with a rope, then threw Togo with all his strength to the other side, now he has to rely on the strength of a Togo dog to pull an entire iceberg. Togo tried his best, once failed, then twice, twice failed, then three times. All the dogs began to howl, giving Togo strength. The iceberg gradually approached the shore. Taking this opportunity, the boss chose the right moment, untied the rope, and ordered all the dogs to rush forward. Togo is such a hero. When she arrived at the stop, the female medical staff stroked Togo. She couldn't help but burst into tears, saying that Togo was about to die. The next day on the road, the boss wanted to give Togo a rest. He put it on the car, tried again and again. Togo was still determined to go to the top. It has to do its job. Boss has to bear. In the last 20 miles before arriving, Boss was exhausted, snowflakes were like blades, rushing past his ears so that Boss couldn't hear him, he told Togo the road behind was counting on you. In the end, Boss could not stand the cold and fell asleep in the car tiredly, Togo persisted in his mission to lead the team in the blizzard, don't know how long has passed. When Boss woke up, it was pitch black, he hurriedly called Togo. The whole herd of dogs had fallen, and he crawled in front of Togo, both worried and pitifully calling to him. We can't stop, we have to keep going, but Togo is too tired to keep his eyes open. Do we fail? At this time, behind the boss, there was a flash of light, the rescue team had arrived. It turned out that Togo had completed the task assigned by the boss. They've been saved, the kids in town are also saved, the serum continues to be carried away at last in town. A few days later, boss's house was constantly filled with people who came to give thank you gifts. Even the mayor came to ask, but boss couldn't be happier. Togo is now dying, the boss is extremely regretful, he just wanted Togo to get well soon, he had never allowed a dog in his room, but this time he let Togo lie on his After bed. After a few days of being cared for by the owner, Togo has improved a lot, boss is about to leave, he doesn't want Togo to continue working so he stays at home, just like when he was young, Togo always finds a way, nothing can stop it from running towards the boss, although his leg was injured, he still limped and ran, hearing his wife speak, boss turned to look. He seems to see Togo as a child, it defies everything that runs towards him, Boss finally understood that Togo lived only for him. The movie Togo is adapted from a true story in the year 1925, Alaska broke out with diphtheria, 
At that time there were 20 teams of rickshaws that relayed each other to transport the serum, in 19 degrees of weather, an average of 50 kilometers, while one team ran for 425 kilometers, that was Togo's team. In the year 2011, Togo was voted the bravest animal in history by Time magazine. It is loyal, steadfast, relying on a strong will to save the lives of more than 50 children.